Welcome friends, welcome back to the Google Associate Cloud Engineer Certification Exam. I can provide some example multiple choice questions, MCQs, for the Google Associate Cloud Engineer Certification Exam along with their answers and explanations. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the certificate exam. So the first question is, what is the primary purpose of Google Cloud Memory Store? Let's see the option and the options are, option A, to provide managed in-memory data stores for Redis and memcached. Option B, to deploy containerized applications. Option C, to manage virtual machines. Option D, to store large datasets. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A, to provide managed in-memory data stores for Redis and memcached. Google Cloud Memory Store is a managed service for in-memory data stores. It supports Redis and Memcached providing high performance and low latency for caching and real-time applications. Let's move to the second question. How do you create a new Kubernetes cluster using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud container clusters create cluster underscore name. Option B. Cloud create cluster cluster underscore name. Option C. Cloud Kubernetes clusters create cluster underscore name. Option D. Cloud container create cluster cluster underscore name. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A Cloud Container Clusters Create Cluster Underscore Name The command Cloud Container Clusters Create Cluster Underscore Name is used to create a new Kubernetes cluster. This command specifies the action, create, and the resource type, cluster, along with the cluster name. Let's move to the third question. Which Google Cloud service is used for real-time event processing and data integration? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Storage. Option B. Cloud Data Proc. Option C. Cloud Data Flow. Option D. Cloud Pub for Sub. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud Data Flow. Cloud Data Flow is a fully managed service for real-time event processing and data integration. It allows you to create data pipelines for stream and batch processing. Let's move to the fourth question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud Operations, formerly Stackdriver? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To store and retrieve data. Option Option B, to manage cloud billing. Option C, to monitor troubleshoot and improve the performance of applications on Google Cloud. Option D, to deploy machine learning models. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C, to monitor troubleshoot and improve the performance of applications on Google Cloud. Google Cloud Operations provides tools for monitoring, troubleshooting, and improving the performance of applications on Google Cloud. It includes features like logging, monitoring, tracing, and error reporting. Let's move to the fifth question. How do you set the default project for all your Cloud commands? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud config set project project underscore ID. Option B. Cloud set project project underscore ID. Option C. Cloud project set project underscore ID. Option D. Cloud config project project underscore ID. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud config set project project underscore ID. The command cloud config set project project underscore ID sets the default project for all your cloud commands. This ensures that all subsequent commands use this project unless specified otherwise. Let's move to the sixth question. Which Google Cloud service provides a managed environment for running containerized applications without managing the underlying infrastructure? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud Functions. Option B. Cloud Run. Option C. App Engine. Option D. Compute Engine. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. Cloud Run. Cloud Run is a fully managed compute platform that allows you to run containerized applications without managing the underlying infrastructure. It is designed for state applications that can scale automatically. Let's move to the seven question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud Build? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To deploy machine learning models. Option B. To manage cloud billing. Option C. To create CI or CD pipelines for building, testing, and deploying code. Option D. To store large datasets. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. To create CI or CD pipelines for building, testing, and deploying code. Google Cloud Build is a fully managed CI CD platform that lets you build, test, 
and deploy applications on Google Cloud. It supports various build configurations and integrations with other CI or CD tools. Let's move to the 8 question. How do you delete a Google Cloud project using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud projects delete project underscore ID. Option B. Cloud delete project project underscore ID. Option C. Cloud project delete project underscore ID. Option D. Cloud projects remove project underscore ID. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud Cloud projects delete project underscore ID. The command cloud projects delete project underscore ID deletes a specified Google Cloud project. This command specifies the action, delete, and the resource type, project, along with the project ID. Let's move to the nine question. Which Google Cloud service allows you to create and manage virtual machines? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud storage. Option B. App engine. Option C. Compute engine. Option D. Cloud functions. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Compute engine. Compute engine is a Google Cloud service that allows you to create and manage virtual machines. It provides scalable computing capacity for various workloads. Let's move to the 10 question. What is the primary use case for Google Cloud Firestore? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Running containerized applications. Option B. Storing and synchronizing data in real time for web and mobile applications. Option C. Analyzing large datasets. Option D. Managing cloud billing. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. Storing and synchronizing data in real time for web and mobile applications. Google Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL document database that allows you to store and synchronize data in real-time for web and mobile applications. It supports offline data access and real-time synchronization. Let's move to the 11 question. How do you create a new app engine application using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud app create. Option B. Cloud create app. Option C. Cloud app new. Option D. Cloud app deploy. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud app create. The command Cloud app create is used to create a new app engine application. This command initializes a new app engine application in your project. Let's move to the 12 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed, scalable data warehouse? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. BigQuery. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Option D. Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. BigQuery. BigQuery is a fully managed, scalable data warehouse that allows you to analyze large datasets using SQL. It is designed for high-performance queries and can scale to handle petabytes of data. Let's move to the 13 question. What is the primary purpose of Google Cloud Auto ML? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To deploy virtual machines. Option B. To store and retrieve data. Option C. To create custom machine learning models with minimal coding. Option D. To manage cloud billing. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. To create custom machine learning models with minimal coding. Google Cloud Auto ML allows you to create custom machine learning models with minimal coding. It provides provides a user-friendly interface for training and deploying models tailored to your specific needs. Let's move to the 14 question. How do you view the details of a specific virtual machine instance using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud compute instances describe instance underscore name. Option B. Cloud instances describe instance underscore name. Option C. Cloud describe instance instance underscore name. Option D. Cloud compute describe instance underscore name. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud compute instances describe instance underscore name. The command cloud compute instances describe instance underscore name provides details about a specific virtual machine instance. This includes information about the instance's configuration, status, and metadata. Let's move to the 15 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Kubernetes? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. App Engine. Option B. Compute Engine. Option C. Cloud Run. Option D. Google Kubernetes Engine. GKE. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option D. Google Kubernetes Engine. GKE. Google Kubernetes Engine. GKE is a fully managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling containerized applications using Kubernetes. It simplifies the management of Kubernetes clusters. Let's move to the 16 question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud Identity Aware Proxy IAP? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To manage virtual machines. Option B. To provide secure access to applications running on Google Cloud. 
Option C, to store large datasets. Option D, to analyze large datasets. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B, to provide secure access to applications running on Google Cloud. Google Cloud Identity Aware Proxy, FIAP, provides secure access to applications running on Google Cloud. It allows you to control access to your applications based on the user's identity. Let's move to the 17 question. How do you resize a compute engine instance using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud compute instances resize instance underscore name, size equals size. Option B, Cloud compute instances set machine type instance underscore name, a machine type equals machine underscore type. Option C, Cloud resize compute instances instance underscore name, size equals size. Option D, Cloud instances resize instance underscore name, size equals size. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B, Cloud compute instances set machine type instance underscore name, a machine type equals machine underscore type. The command Cloud compute instances set machine type instance underscore name, a machine type equals machine underscore type is used to resize a compute engine instance by changing its machine type. This adjusts the instance's resources, CPU, memory, according to the specified machine type. Let's move to the 18 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed platform for deploying serverless functions? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, App Engine. Option B, Compute Engine. Option C, Cloud Functions. Option D, Cloud Run. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C, Cloud Functions. Google Cloud Functions is a fully managed platform for deploying serverless functions. It allows you to run code in response to events without provisioning or managing servers. Let's move to the 19 question. What is the primary purpose of Google Cloud Dataproc? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to store and retrieve data. Option B, to manage cloud billing. Option C, to deploy machine learning models. Option D, to run Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop clusters for big data processing. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option D, to run Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop clusters for big data processing. Google Cloud Dataproc is a fully managed service for running Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop clusters. It is designed for big data processing, allowing you to run large-scale data analysis and ETL workflows. Let's move to the 20 question. How do you delete a compute engine instance using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud compute instances delete instance underscore name. Option B, Cloud delete compute instances instance underscore name. Option C, Cloud instances delete instance underscore name. Option D, Cloud compute delete instance underscore name. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A, Cloud compute instances delete instance underscore name. The command Cloud compute instances delete instance underscore name deletes a specific compute engine instance. This command specifies the action, delete, and the resource type, instance, along with the instance name. Let's move to the 21 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed environment for developing, deploying, and managing applications without managing the underlying infrastructure? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud Functions. Option B, Compute Engine. Option C, App Engine. Option D, Cloud Run. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C, App Engine. Google App Engine is a fully managed platform for developing, deploying, and managing applications without managing the underlying infrastructure. It handles scaling, load balancing, and other infrastructure tasks automatically. Let's move to the 22 question. What is the purpose of Google Cloud Endpoints? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to manage virtual machines. Option B, to provide a fully managed API management platform. Option C, to store large datasets. Option D, to analyze large datasets. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B, to provide a fully managed API management platform. Google Cloud Endpoints is a fully managed API management platform that allows you to create, deploy, secure, and monitor APIs. It provides tools for managing the entire lifecycle of your APIs. Let's move to the 23 question. How do you list all available machine types in a specific zone using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Cloud Compute Machine Types List Zone Equals Zone. Option B, Cloud Machine Types List Zone Equals Zone. Option C, Cloud List Machine Types Zone Equals Zone. Option D, Cloud Compute List Machine Types Zone Equals Zone. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A, Cloud Compute Machine Types List Zone Equals Zone.
The command cloud compute machine types list zone equals zone lists all available machine types in the specified zone. This helps you choose the appropriate machine type for your compute engine instances. Let's move to the 24 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed, scalable NoSQL document database? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. BigQuery. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Option D. Cloud Spanner. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Google Cloud Data Store is a fully managed, scalable NoSQL document database. It is designed for building highly available and scalable applications. Let's move to the 25 question. What is the primary use case for Google Cloud Armor? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Running containerized applications. Option B. Storing and retrieving data. Option C. Protecting applications from DDoS attacks and other web-based threats. Option D. Managing cloud billing. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. Protecting applications from DDoS attacks and other web-based threats. Google Cloud Armor provides protection for applications from DDoS attacks and other web-based threats. It offers security policies and defenses to ensure the availability and security of your applications. Let's move to the 26 question. How do you update the configuration of an existing app engine application using the Cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud app update. Option B. Cloud app deploy. Option C. Cloud app configure. Option D. Cloud update app. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option B. Cloud app deploy. The command cloud app deploy is used to update the configuration of an existing app engine application. This command redeploys the application with the updated configuration settings. Let's move to the 27 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed environment for deploying and managing machine learning models? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud functions. Option B. Compute engine. Option C. AI platform, formerly ML engine. Option D. Cloud data proc. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. AI Platform, formerly ML Engine. Google Cloud AI Platform provides a fully managed environment for deploying and managing machine learning models. It offers tools for training, deploying, and monitoring models at scale. Let's move to the 28 question. What is the primary purpose of Google Cloud PubSub? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To run containerized applications. Option B. To store and retrieve data. Option C. To enable real-time messaging and event-driven systems. Option D. To manage virtual machines. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option C. To enable real-time messaging and event-driven systems. Google Cloud PubSub is a messaging service designed for real-time messaging and event-driven systems. It allows you to send and receive messages between independent applications and services. Let's move to the 29 question. How do you create a new cloud storage bucket using the cloud command line tool? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud storage buckets create bucket underscore name. Option B. Cloud create bucket bucket underscore name. Option C. Cloud storage create bucket bucket underscore enamy. Option D. Cloud buckets create bucket underscore name. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud storage buckets create bucket underscore name. The command cloud storage buckets create bucket underscore name is used to create a new cloud storage bucket. This command specifies the action, create, and the resource type, bucket, along with the bucket name. Let's move to the 30 question. Which Google Cloud service provides a fully managed, scalable, and highly available relational database? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Cloud SQL. Option B. BigQuery. Option C. Cloud Data Store. Option D. Cloud Firestore. Let's see the answer and right answer is. Option A. Cloud SQL. Google Cloud SQL is a fully managed, scalable, and highly available relational database service. It supports MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server, providing automatic backups, replication, and failover capabilities. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.